putting it on and then I'll, um, I'll begin. Welcome to I Am Harmony. I know you've been here before, but we've made so many changes. I would like to show you some of the changes that we've made. isn't really new. It actually is the very first design that I created uh, on and put on I Am Harmony land. And I did this because I had heard that by a doctor that people could be healed if they walked the labyrinth. And the reason for that is because it weaves in and out rather than walking straight. And what it does do, it aligns the chakras and balances the right and left brain. So it, to me, is the heart of I Am Harmony. Now we have a new design, which is very, very powerful. I just created this this summer. It is the I Am Activator Shrine. And I have the explanation of what you are to do uh, in order to receive the activation. What is so important is that this picture has the radiation of St. Germain. And when a person comes in and stands here and looks at this picture and makes the connection, it will actually awaken a cell within their body. And there are six different shades of uh, stained glass, which are the same colors that are in the picture. There's golden, pink, violet, purple, green, and blue. And there's a round crystal that is hanging down. And when the sun hits it, it sends out the steely white rays that are coming out from from the colors and from the I am presence. Actually, everyone has an I am presence. It's just that we don't see it. We're not aware of it. We don't we 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 don't know about it because it isn't visible to us. But it is up above our head. Whereas this is the person. This is the I am presence. And so this, all these colors around them, are what are actually around each of us. So as a person comes and stands in here, they will say the prayer of St. Germain, which is, sweep the violet flame. And this is so powerful, it actually removes all discord and negativity and opens the heart. And that's why this is called an activator shrine, because it opens the heart and prepares the person to actually go into a deeper place within themselves. So after they have stood in the activator and felt this change take place within them, then we go across the garden to the other shrine, which is the I Am Present Shrine. And as we walk along, Kuan Yin, beautiful Kuan Yin, was known for her love and mercy. And Saint Germain, whom we know as the lover of freedom of America. Here, there's a beautiful flagstone setting, which is actually created by Rodney and Pamela last summer. And there are 12 seats in a circle. And I always say this is where the 12 ascended masters meet sometimes. Invisible to us, but I'm sure they're present. And I think you're familiar with the little room. It's a serenity room. We use that during the during the summer because it's, it's so beautiful inside with two beds of little table and our comfortable chairs to just sit. And all along the way, we pass where we have a fire 
and a sweat lodge. And the I am period pyramid greenhouse and this was created by Rodney and it is just amazing. The plants in here flourished within just a matter of a few days after planting because the energy is so high. Should I take that out? It really has it's really past its full time now because I've had chard and kale and purple beans and carrots and tomatoes and 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 all of that and this is like the, about the third setting of it and so it's still in progress it shows you how powerful it is and this is a cautious garden and this is one of my favorite places because Akasha is a the Shohan, the great central sun, and this was just blooming with all the different colors of flowers throughout the whole summer. Again, this is the latter part of the season, but this is so beautiful in the summer. There are daisies and roses and hollyhock and, and all the different colors. And Akasha is bringing in the rose pink ray of love, will, and grace to the planet. In this other portion of the yard, I've dedicated to her twin flame, who is, his, his name is the sun, and this is his garden, where I have all the fruit trees and the flowers, and this design is the, in the center of it, is the 444 doorway, which honors the angels and the archangels, and so all around this area, um, this is, is just really a beautiful place to honor both of these ascended masters. We'll walk now to the shrine, which is the second part of the activation, following the activation. This is the I Am Presence Shrine. And so when you come here, there are directions again. And there are actually there's one prayer that I say, I suggest that you say this prayer only if you're willing to surrender to your I Am Presence, because in it you c totally offer yourself up completely and entirely. But the instructions tell you again that the colors in this picture are the same as the other, that this is the causal body, and this part of our body holds all of the wonderful things that we have from the past. And so, um, as a person goes and either kneels or sits on the bench, they can go deep within themselves and they ask a question and find an answer that they had no idea would uh, even come forth. Then on the end of the bench, there's a little container where someone can write what they have experienced. And there are so many amazing experiences that have been written that I, I just want to share with you that this has offers an opportunity for a person to find a whole other part of themselves. And again, these colors that we see in this are the same as the other. But as they sit there in meditation, answers will come to them. Perhaps answers about how they can serve better on the planet, answers about their own personal life. But this is a wonderful opportunity for these two shrines. They're so powerful. And it's a wonderful addition to I Am Harmony. Now the only other part that, uh, that's going to complete the energy with this is going to be over in this other section where we're going to build a flower of life. And this has not as yet taken place. But when it when it when we finished it, the activator shrine, the I am present shrine, and the flower of life, those three will be like a trinity on the grounds holding amazing energy. The flower of life is the divine of the is the design of the universe and is very complicated. 
because it's a circle within a circle within a circle within a circle. I've actually tried three times to create this design. So this time, I've created the outer circle. It's an eight foot diameter, eight, eight foot radius, 16 foot diameter. And I'm going to actually have someone do this professionally because I want it to work in conjunction with the other two shrines and complete the energy and the potential of awakening people, assisting them to find who they are, what they can offer to the planet, and to find a deeper part of themselves.